did you ever know that even animals are racist? Have you ever seen a racist giraffe? This is a typical example of a racist giraffe. I am Maya. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel and I'm still here in Nairobi, Kenya, such a beautiful city that the media, the white media is not showing you and I'm with my host Dr. Mumi Saraki. So we are off to kind of show a bit of Nairobi, kind of, you know, a lot, a lot of you guys have been asking me what you do in Nairobi. So we're going to do like the typical tourist thing. So when family comes visiting, this is the kind of stuff we do. Uh, we're going to go to the elephant orphanage. We're going to go feed giraffes. <laughs> and then um, I'll check out if my guys want to go, you know, see some traditional dances. We're going to go for some delicious food. Oh, Mr. Maya. <laughs> We're going to feed giraffes, but I think this is white thing. Actually, white yeah, it is. It's for white people. I am Maya. I'm going to be white today. Yeah? I'm going to be, yes. be white powder. Like <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned and enjoy this amazing episode. That's okay, right. Cool. Stay tuned. Right. Awesome. The storms we chase us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah. No, I don't wanna waste what's left. And I know we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun. We're like at the elephant orphanage, it's called the David Sheldrick Elephant Orphanage where um, baby elephants are basically collected and sent over here and taken care of. Uh, you can see Wodemaya and O'Shea just behind me, you know, checking out what's happening. Let's take a look. And And these two are uh, play fighting or sizing up. <laughs> when that tree falls down there. So in the normal patients, the elephants are left with approximately five minutes or so to walk away. That is the end of our doing, and thank you very much for listening to me. Human wildlife conflict. Last one on the far end on my right, an elephant by the name Tagwa, three years old. And Tagwa was rescued from Mount Kenya Forest after she had been separated from her family by human beings. Therefore, she was a victim of human wildlife conflict. Close to me, directly in front now, is an elephant by the methods. A process that will take them a minimum of about five years before they start to make friends among the wild herds. We will later on invite them and adopt them in the family. As you can see, the baby elephants are really friendly. You can play with them, touch them, but make sure you don't go too far because they are still animals. I am Maya. But there is one talent that I have that most of you don't know. I can understand animals. I can speak with them, okay? So what is going on right here is that these two elephants are fighting over the female elephant. They, they want to know who want to take her home today. So that is what is happening at this moment. <laughs> I am Maya. Just kidding, okay? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
As you can see, your boy Mr. Maya is really excited because this is my first time of seeing elephant with my naked eyes. You know, most of you think that Africa is full of animals. I've been living in Africa all my life, but I've never seen elephant before. So don't think that we live with animals. I am Maya. <laughs> so after their meal they just go back to where they came from and they're gonna come back again the following day I really don't know what I was trying to tell Dr. Mumbi, but I think I was trying to convince Dr. Mumbi that O'Shea is really a nice guy. I am Maya. <laughs> so now we are on our way to Langata Nature Education Center. Public transport guys are called matatus. Yo, that's a nice one too. They got it off and yeah. yeah, they got it. Yeah, they got it. Trick. How amazing and beautiful to see, feel, touch and feed these amazing creatures and you cannot find this anywhere but on the motherland. I am Maya. This is such an awesome experience for me. Indeed, Africa is blessed. I really did not want to leave these giraffes behind because I was so happy to see them. But Dr. Mumbi convinced me that this is Nairobi and there are a lot of amazing things that you need to see with your eyes. So she said, let's go watch the Kenyan traditional dance.
this was an unforgettable day for me because it was my first time of seeing elephants and giraffe even though i've lived in africa all my life so i want to say thank you so much dr mumbi for making this possible and my man oshay thanks for coming all the way from poland to see your boy mr maya i am maya peace out